In this lesson, we'll learn about line plots. Line plots are used to display data when there are many repeating values. In a line plot, data values are plotted on a number line. We have a number line going left to right, and x's above the number line. The x's represent the number of times that a specific data value occurs. This is called the frequency of a given data value. There's also a title, inches of rain, with x's above certain values. A weatherman tracks the amount of rain that fell for one week in February. The line plot displays the data. How much in total did it rain that week? For this line plot, the fractions below represent the inches of rain that fell. Each x above a number represents one day with that much rain. To find how much it rained that week, we can add the inches of rain for each day and find the total. There are two x's above one-fourth. So there are two days when it rained one-fourth inch. We can add one-fourth plus one-fourth. There's one x above one-half, so we can add one-half as well. There are two x's above three-fourth, so we can add three-fourth plus three-fourth. There are two x's above one and one-fourth, so we can add one and one-fourth two times. We can find the total amount of rain that week by adding one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-half plus three-fourth plus three-fourth plus one and one-fourth plus one and one-fourth. Let's check our equation to make sure we added all the x's. There are seven x's and seven add-ins, so we have all seven days and how much it rained. Let's add the fractions. First, let's add the holes. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Let's look for ways to make holes. I know that 1 fourth plus 3 fourth equals 4 fourths, which is one whole. I can do the same with these add-ins. 1 fourth plus 3 fourth is equal to one whole. So, this set of 1 fourth and 3 fourth makes one whole. And another set of 1 fourth and 3 fourth makes another hole. So now we have 4 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 2 fourth. 2 fourths is equivalent to 1 half, so I can rewrite the equation as 4 plus 1 half plus 1 half. 2 halves makes 1 whole. This equals 5 inches of rain. So for the week, it rained a total of 5 inches. Let's try another question. What is the difference between the greatest and least amounts of rain? Here we need to find the difference or subtract the greatest and least inches of rain. The greatest inches of rain on our line plot is 1 and 1 fourth, and the least is 1 fourth. This means we subtract 1 and 1 fourth and 1 fourth, which equals 1. The difference between the greatest and least amounts of rain is 1. So it is 1 inch of rain. Let's look at another question. The next week it rains, but it only rains half as much as it rained the week this data was collected. How much did it rain the next week? We know that it rained a total of 5 inches from before. We found this out earlier by adding up all the values. If it rains half as much the next week as it did the week before, we can take 5 and divide it by 2 or find half. Half of 5 is 2 and a half. So, 2 and a half inches of rain fell the next week. In this lesson, you learned to interpret line plots. Thanks for watching.